Hello again, my name is Avkash and today I will be showing you the dry run related with H2O AI new product. It's named H2O Hydrogen Torch. This platform is recently released and it is designed for deep learning experiment related with your unstructured data, including images and text. As you could see in this how it works image directly from h2o.ai team, this hydrogen torch platform has these six steps. Very first, you can ingest your images, video or text. After the data ingestion is done, you could config your experiment. Training will be done and it will be done underneath as a PyTorch deep learning engine. And then you could do some inspection on your model, get the train and validation insights, etc. And finally, you can deploy that model. And once model is deployed, you could consume that model directly from your various use cases such as business apps, API, direct data store, or some their batch and real time predictions. So it's a very first time I will be using H2O Hydrogen Torch very first time so i'm totally novice with this product but by end of this tutorial we will learn how h2 hydrogen torch works and how easy it is for anyone to just get started so you must have access to h2 ai cloud platform and h2 hydrogen torch is part of that platform and it runs as an application I already have access to H2O AI Cloud and I will be doing experimentation directly at my own account at H2O AI Cloud. H2O.ai very recently released H2O Hydrogen Torch. It's a cloud-based platform for solving computer vision and natural language related problems. It's just released a few days back and today I am going through with its very first dry run. I haven't even used it at all. So I will be following the documentation and just trying to use it. So understand how easy it is and how it really works. So let's get started. Here is the documentation about H2O Hydrogen Torch. It's designed for novice as well as the, the expert data scientist. To build the deep learning models. So we are going to look into the various use cases and image classification, uh, object detection, semantic segmentation and instance segmentation, matrix learning. So it is designed to use with your unstructured image data as well as the text data. So here is the overview video and Feel free to look into access to H2O Hydrogen Torch and it is part of H2O AI Cloud. I do have access to H2O AI Cloud here. So I'm already there. I will look for Hydrogen Torch. So that's the Hydrogen Torch app like any other application at H2O AI Cloud. While it's loading, here is here are some of the images which shows how we could get more information about this application. Here is the home, here is the import and create experiment and then inspect and deploy and here's the documentation. Here are the data sets available. And next, experiment learning rate plus. So looks like these are the progress while the training was being done metrics, train data insights, and then the next is image date, so threshold, okay. Next, okay, next experiment relation, experimentation related images, okay. So looks like we are good, now we can. App instance, let's run this app. Running any application at H2O AI Cloud, it takes some time because that application is being bootstrapped. It is running at the H2O AI cloud in its own instance. 
let's at least take about a minute or plus minus to get it started. So when it's being loaded, let's come back here and look into more documentation. So here we have H2 instance. When it start running, we will be here you go. Our instance is starting. Here is the URL for our instance. And here are the tutorials. Let's go for beginner tutorial. Just a data set, coin default image regression. Running the experiment. And because it is my very first run, I haven't even seen H2O hydrogen torch live so it would be real dry run or test run to just understand how this application platform really look like so what we will do is that we will just try to run a very quick test presentation look like experiment flow import train inspect and deploy so these are the three different steps data set you can train and Okay, so looks like that we could be doing very easy. Okay, so here you could see that our tab is getting ready and here is H2O Hydrogen Torch, very first time is available for us. Okay, so these are the dark mode and light mode. So I will be using just simple light mode. Import data set, create experiment, deploy. Here is the import data set and the sources are available from various we can get from Kaggle or we can get from upload and if it is S3 they already have the coin image regression zip must be a zip or a CSV file if it is a zip uh, it means the all the files will be available to it but if you are providing a CSV it means that you must uh, provide the URLs which are easily accessible. Okay, so let's try to use their own data set, coin image regression. Let's continue it. So it will be picking up the S3 default coin. And here is the problem type, regression. Okay, and this is the training data frame, images, validation, everything. We will just use everything default. So this importing data set now continue we say continue and there was coin image regression okay so this is the data set so we have to select a data set which is one of them so sample we have followed this training data set to view a few visible sample train visualization tab let's do the data visualization here okay so here we see that it's a label 125 75 so it means the the total of these images is a 25 so it's a quarter and this is a 125 i have no idea why this is can we see this image can we do zoom here? Zoom out. Okay, so that's so this is quarter. This is this a five one fifty. Could be this. Okay train data statistics so these are the number of rows that's the summary okay so we have selected so this is the data set we have selected so this is the label and let's create the experiment so let's come back here so we have looked into the data run the experiment create scenario when you haven't imported any other data set so create experiment card will provide image regression experiment okay scenario two so we have done okay run the experiment it shows it's queued right now if we refresh it running okay it's better if there is a 
refresh auto refresh which really tells where we are so so these are the experiment specific settings if i want to create a new experiment if i do refresh okay so epoch one of five means it's going to take five of five and the eta one minute 12 seconds okay so epoch two so 50 more seconds to go it's, it's very nice i'm little scared to go other tabs as of now because i'm not sure if i will be coming back and seeing same thing but let's come back to import data set and then come back to list experiment and refresh okay so that's good it means that while the experiment is running you feel free to go and check other tabs to learn more about it or do something while your experiment is already running in the background so we have already ran all five of five steps our experiment is finished let's go back to list experiment now we could select here if we could select this experiment and here are the charts related with so here is the learning rate and this is very good current learning rate throughout the training process so here is the based on these steps here is the learning rate uh, batch loss so these are the different metrics let's go here metric ma 4.4 for validation so these are the validation metrics r2 msa so all the metrics are consolidated at one tab okay training data insight so this is how the random sampling can i come back and do random sampling this does not look like so every time same image is coming random train samples after augmentation let me refresh here download multiple file no i do not want right now okay and validation so this is the validation prediction insight so random validation sample these are the best predicted label 25 predicted 24 almost this one worst here is oh because so dark okay this is also so these are the just checks to show that how the training process worked with the best validation and the worst validation it would have been good if we could resample because it looks like that every time when we do we get to see same thing let me go back again and see if it changes so validation but the images are fixed look like they are not randomized once you see thus they are exactly the same so this is the just summary here is are the logs everything related with so underneath it's using the pytorch okay and then here everything validation mae so we already have that here are the configuration parameter related with this experiment so here we could see that image width these are the all the images through channel okay so rgb images so they are all colored images used here and because we can learning rate is so that's the learning rate batch size is a 32 is used epox we have used five so what could be the scenario where we could actually change these parameters so we could change the learning rate and we here we have the optimizer so adam blue is really used okay metrics so the premier metrics is our mae okay number of images so number of oh it says the number of images are eight let's look into the listed data set and training row so there were like six zero two eight listed data set. that was the data set we were using so these are the images we have so definitely there are lots of images so 200 of 200 so the list experiment i am not sure what is this number of images it shows eight 
happen because those eight images we are seeing continuously here okay yes something needs to be understood later but at least for a starter we have seen most of the things which we we have seen here so okay so that was our MAE absolute we have created the experiment we have check out this okay and prediction insight so that's we have also validated summary tab and here the epochs are created observe completed experiment validation matrix so validation matrix is 44933 and here we had the validation matrix are these clickable matrix we have this summary so that was validation matrix oh, I was thinking it's a cable value which is not so four 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 dot four nine three three and in this four dot four nine three three is pretty much exactly and the seed is eighteen three maybe it's a seed is exactly the same so oh yeah this is exactly same hard coded 183169 and that can also be seen in the config then that's what there you go so that's the seed was used so if we want to create the experiment here we are and here are the parameters there you go so there are the parameters for that image regression we have images label image width 224 224 three channels okay data sample stat so backend is using the restnet or oh, there are the different so it means that we could change it if we look into our experiment detail and here let's see so it's using restnet 34 pre-built model as the base for this experiment if we are trying to create the experiment we could actually change this and we can say this time we do not want to use ResNet 50, we want to use efficient at and dense net. Okay, drop out folds. Fold, okay. And A this is RMSE learning rate just go one more level inside batch just make it to 64 just double it app box just put a 10 okay mae so rmse's so metric is rmse augmentation gpu so this is gpu setting for the experimentation experiment level is skilled because it's no longer big beginners because we are trying to do it and here i will call it of course coin test test and run experiment refresh very good okay so eta is not set yet as you could see here that config will tell us that RMS is used and DenseNet one to one is used the learning rate we have went more deep and we have changed some of these parameter so these are the charts two charts are ready let's go back to experiment ETA is gonna take about six minutes so we will give it six minutes to run and while it is running we will come back look into the documentation if we have missed anything we have observation we have okay, validation prediction summary so i would like to predict uh, using the previous test we have run this automated okay and prediction so predicted data let me see so in this scenario, our so industrious dog. So this the X config. Here the experiment name is industrious dogfish. So this experiment we want to use for prediction. Let me just close this. 
so this is experiments level is skilled okay so at least I have some skill so this is the experiment which is completed so I'm, I'm using that data set is that production image MAA run production data set how I could use my own image to predict plus at least run production first see what happens cute refresh navigation data set all the import needs to be worked there then we are going to use this create and all the listing then predict okay so that totally makes sense prediction let me see prediction how to and we could actually do this prediction in Python environment so it would be best that if I could do this prediction from a Jupyter notebook by using the model which we have just created so this is prediction download is scoring so it generated the wheel Analogs. let me see if prediction is still queued it is possible that the resources are being occupied by this experiment so the prediction is queued right now we will give some time for this experiment to be completed which is about a minute and a half left so seven out of ten let me read one more time that how this prediction deployment happens so we could download okay three option to deploy the model torch ui predicted data new data okay predicted data experiment box in the data set environment setting spicy setting display so we need to tell which data set we need to use to predict with prediction so it is so hydrogen torch ui so predicted data data set it means i have to upload a new data set so import data set here is that way listed data set i can import so what if i try to get a coin image and upload here okay let's come back to list experiment this experiment is completed here are the charts summary that's the validation test matrix the validation matrix is this we were using rmsc that's our configuration seed value is default like this and logs so looks like that our 10 epochs with 64 batch size is used for this experiment so at least we have learned and in this scenario the data set is also as you could see here random good it's using the new data set so it looks like all our experimentation related with this new hydrogen torch application works well prediction we were running a prediction and it finished okay so we learned that it was waiting so it was waiting for us to complete the previous experiment so it was queued so the prediction was queued behind the experimentation once experimenting experimentation was completed the prediction was started let's look into the data set here matrix so that's a prediction and here is the prediction matrix so you could see here the integration for best test and best worst so we have got the idea at how the predictions happen So these are the images used for the data set for prediction. So what we need is that we need to create a new data. So folder, data folder test. And we also need this image path. So there will be images folder and then the CSV.
So here we have our coins CSV file, which has image name and image path. And the images folder is there. And then these files are available here. So we have packed this coin CSV and these images into this coins.zip. And we are going to upload this coins.zip as our data set at H2 Hydrogen Torch. So these two images can be used for prediction. So first we need to import the data set. We are going to upload it, image data, coins. So here we are importing this coins.zip which has CSV and packages we are uploading and as you could see here a data set I will call it Avkash predict coins and coins.csv images folder is there and the image name and image column is image name okay let's continue import oh, because it means that data set is here of course predict okay two rows labels are like that let's look into this uh, sample okay so we need to image name and image path i have no idea if they are red because after I have uploaded the images, it's using the local path. Let's come back to predict. Use this experiment which we have created, this one, and I will be using my coins, coin CSV, MAE, and run the prediction. So images are red so list prediction is finished of cash two coins and here's okay matrix predicted 254 309 so the test with our own data we were able to predict however the validity of the prediction is not clear for us to validate let me see the list data set this is the data set we have so at least the dry run related with our experimentation does work however there are some issues the way this whole experimentation was completed and i have uploaded these two images which i believe is that the total should be 25 plus 25 50 plus 10 60 plus 20 80 and 82 and it's a prediction is that and here again it's the same data set is just a flipped in a way so it should also have the same 82 but it's just generate two different predictions is uh, not, not clear next if we want to perform the prediction using this Python code so we have already completed this oh God, okay experiment prediction deployment options here we have predicted data so we have already used the predicted data UI H2O ML ops in the H2O hydrogen torch list experiment and here we could download the ML ops okay so we are here list experiment and here we will this download logs download prediction that's just gonna give us let's see what it really downloads it's like that it expects allow we need to allow these download files okay so we need to continue now we need to allow now otherwise so it means that these downloads is going to happen okay, so these are prediction 
So for this email, the prediction label is that. So that's how the prediction results are downloaded. Logs, we don't, we are not interested. So deployment option, MLOps. List experiment, list experiment table, download the pipeline. It means we need to come here, list experiment, this, so this was over, and here, new experiment, so this is the experiment here, and they are suggesting that we could download, okay, Got it. So these two, it's a free trial, so we could not use. It means if we want to deploy this thing at the ML Ops pipeline, we could have make it work. Okay, makes sense now. So just for com sake of completeness, you have option to come here MLOps and once you download this package, you have ability to go to the H2O AI Cloud and in the My Model MLOps and here you could add a project. For example, here I had deployment and I do not have deployment, but you have ability to push your deployment directly here. So this can be downloaded and can be deployed here. Okay, so that's we have learned. And if I want to do the low Python environment, status is finished, download is coding. So that I also cannot use because both these options, the scoring and this, are not enabled in free trial. So the only option I have is this predict option, which runs this experiment and it uses the, okay, I can use hydrogen test. I will use my two coins and say, okay, I don't really want to use RM. Okay, so RMSE was there. Okay, let's run the prediction. Queued, running, Should it's only two images. Completed. Let's use RMSE. Just this one here, 407, 381. So with different model, it's really giving a different result. Let's come back to home. So we have completed data set, create experiment, and inspect and deploy. So next experiment would be that I will upload my own images. And then I will be doing exact same test because then I will have a better understanding of how this end-to-end -end scenario works because this coin data set was little not clear the way these images are being calculated because the image resolution is quite not clear. So it would be best if I have my own data set where I have full confidence what I'm doing. We have completed the dry run for H2O Hydrogen Torch AI platform, which is just an AI application within the H2O AI cloud. So very soon I will be creating another video where I will be using my own data set and I will perform end-to-end -end H2O Hydrogen Torch experiment. So I will be seeing you in my another video. That's all my friends. I hope to see you in my next video if you have enjoyed our content please like it share it and subscribe it at last please be good and do good thank you